There's something off about the mannequins in the department store I work at. I am not a superstitious person, but lately, their plastic eyes seem to follow me around. I've heard stories about haunted dolls, but these are mannequins, lifeless figures meant for displaying clothes, not to become the stuff of nightmares. One night, I got stuck on the graveyard shift. Alone in the store, the mannequins seemed even more eerie, their vacant expressions becoming sinister in the dim light. I was setting up a display when I noticed a mannequin was missing. I found it in the women's section, which was odd because I had placed it in the men's. I brushed it off as a co-worker's prank, until I saw it. The mannequin had a smile. A wicked, unnatural smile that wasn't there before. Over the next few nights, things escalated. Mannequins moved on their own, appearing in different places, always facing where I was. I decided to document it, hoping to catch the prankster in the act. I set up my phone in the corner and started recording. What I saw later chilled me to the bone. The mannequins were moving, their stiff limbs bending in ways they shouldn't, their heads turning to follow my movements. No human was behind this. The climax of this nightmare happened last night. I was alone again when I heard a voice, a soft whisper coming from the mannequin section. As I approached, the whisper turned into a laughter, a chilling, throaty laughter that echoed through the store. I turned around, and there they were, all the mannequins, gathered around me, their plastic faces twisted into terrifying grins. I ran out of the store, vowing never to return. Even now, as I share this story, I can't shake the feeling that they're watching me. Their plastic eyes, their terrifying grins. They're etched into my mind.